Hey guys, I have an oversized, super nice four bedroom, two bath apartment on the second floor in a private three flat. Three flat does have laundry on site as well. Nice, big, spacious, clean laundry room. So in here you have the mantle fireplace, the original oak wood floors, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful floors. Sunlight everywhere. Nice, good sunlight living room. So perfect furniture could fit in here. If you wanted to mount your TV, there you could. Enough space for it. Okay. Now you can use this as a formal dining room or a bedroom. I like when the vintage apartments do the conversions where you can make the dining room actual living, a functional living space for a bedroom or make it your option to make it a bedroom. So this is what we have here in this space. And I appreciate every room besides the kitchen having a ceiling fan. This does have central AC also. So that's a plus. So that's the kitchen, access door, double closets. This is a nice size bedroom. Most tenants in the building have king size beds. They have furniture that is very large. It's not tiny furniture. Now here in the foyer, people have put a little cute little computer desk there. I will put a half moon table with a, with a mirror there, a place for me to maybe uh, put my keys. And then you do have a guest hall closet. Nice and spacious. Everything has a space and a place. So along with having central AC, there is a cute gourmet kitchen. So here you can put a freezer, uh, stock up on food, or put a nice little kitchen table there, up to you. And we have refrigerator. This is a back door. There is an enclosed back door. It's not an open back porch back door, which help with heating costs. Okay, nice appliances, nice kitchen cabinets, and you have two counter spaces for appliances, not just one. So most of the time what you'll see in apartments, they won't add these two and just have this and won't even add this end. So they even added the end. So they could have cut it off right here and made it one piece. And then you would have been missing a cabinet but they made it L, which is to me, nice. And then also the feature that there's a cabinet above that space. Keep in mind, each fixture is an additional cost of money. This they could have skipped on, this they could have skipped on, you know, this whole piece and this whole extra piece, piece and they didn't, as well as the backsplash. Again, most people, they'll just skip that cost of putting a the backsplash there you see the granite, oh, I want it. But they skipped the major component with that backsplash, and we have it here, and it's cute. Again, sink, double sinks. Not cheap, not weird looking. You got this nice faucet. Not cheesy, not cheap. This is another cabinet they didn't have to put up. It's there, so it makes the kitchen look complete. This is a real active, nice, big kitchen drawer. For me, I have to put my silverware in one and my utensils for cooking and stirring in one. And here, you can easily put your compartments for all your serving utensils and the utensils that you eat with. And it's a soft closed drawer too. So this is the kitchen, okay? Enclosed back porch leads to the laundry room. It's two washers, two dryers, and a two flat. And usually that's unheard of. Two flats do not have two washers and two dryers. They only have one washer and one dryer. Okay, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> it's a hallway from the formal dining room or living room, kitchen, first bedroom. So in the first bedroom, yeah, the cable cords is left in the last tenant. Sometimes I don't like that. But it could save you money on installation costs. You know, we have to see on that. This is the so-called smallest room. But you can easily put a full bed in here, or a twin, maybe a day bed, or a child's, um, this could be a nice child's room, small room, or office. Okay, 
going back you see this and you see that it's not hocus pocus it's actually two full baths yes so moving right along you got the fixtures cutie nice tile smooth clean glass block windows nice fixtures here cutie pie more cutie you got that cute toilet okay and then in here you got a linen closet which is nice so you got one main linen closet for both baths it's good so the same fixtures and stuff nice stone tile sinky okay moving right on this way two bedrooms and you got the sunroom which i would call a glamour room to use for my closets oops gotta put that back up didn't see that ha <laughs> But this is one bedroom to rear. Super large room. So what I would do, if this was my room, I would use this as my master closet. Everything would be a dresser here. I would have a dresser on this wall where I'm standing. I would have a mirror there or in that corner. And then I would go to Target and get these garment racks. Here, hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So what I would do if this room here was my room, I would have a dresser here, and somewhere on the wall or corner have the mirror. And where the mirror is, I would probably get either the garment racks from Target, the brush polished silver ones, and make this a dressing room. Now you can go on Craigslist and get the um, Amelas for really good prices, if not free. And you could put like two or three amois here, and it could just be this massive, huge walk in closet. On top of the amois, the good thing about having those is that you can put shoe racks on and have all your shoes. So, if you need a picture of an amois, you know what I'm talking about, I can send you one. So, either way it goes, you can really do much with this. Now, if you didn't want to do the amois and just the garment racks, I will go get a classic bookcase and put my shoes in it. So if you have a lot of shoes, that will really work in here. So imagination can go endless with that. So with that being said, this door would not be accessible. So, hey, that rack or that shoe rack would go well right in there or the bookcase can go right in there where the shoes could go because you don't want double access. Whoever's room that is is just not able to permit then to come in from this way so you get all that extra space or this is a good space for that mirror to go okay it's just utilizing the square footage okay so back in this room here is another room good size same comparable space ceiling fans again in each room Okay, so that's the finale. So you know how to reach me. It's propertiesbyfaith.com or Martin the Broker. And the best way to always reach me is to text me or email me. Call me, leave a message. Text me, text me. Call me, leave a message. You got to leave a message, okay? So if you have any questions, just give me a call, 773-301-291. You must earn three times the rent amount. You can't have evictions and you can't have a criminal record that's violent in nature according to the new changes in fair housing with criminal um, requirements. All right? Thanks. Bye.